Good afternoon everybody, Johnny Bradley here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to embed Facebook pixels onto your ClickFunnels uh, funnel or website. Um, I'm going to be using a few different things today. So first of all is Facebook uh, Ad Manager and the pixels. We're going to be using ClickFunnels as well. And we're also going to be using a, um, a kind of a free Chrome extension where you can check all everything we're doing. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to turn off my video just because my computer will get a little bit hot if I do so. If I don't do so, sorry. Okay, cool. So let's crack right into it. Um, so first of all, why would you use a Facebook pixel? Um, basically, a pixel will track everything that a user does when they enter a website, what pages they go to, and what you can then do is create custom audiences and custom conversions based upon a few key metrics like page view, view content, lead, purchase, or add to cart. Don't know why they're in that order. You'd want that to be the end. So for example, if some people come to your website and they view your content, you can be able to see that. If that person turns into a lead onto, you know, after they've entered their email address, you can see that. And then once they purchase something, you can see that as well. I've added this to my ClickFunnels website only yesterday, so I've only got a little bit of data at the moment just so you can be aware of that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to here in a minute, but let me show you ClickFunnels first. So if you're using ClickFunnels, um, fantastic. If not, I've got a link below where you can sign up. Um, I'm going to use a webinar um, template for this demonstration because it's got all of the different areas and different pages that we want. So we have the registration page with the email opt-in, a countdown page, a broadcast room, and then we have a sales page, so the upsell from the webinar, a basket, and a confirmation once that's been purchased. So what we're going to do is add pixels to the relevant pages. So the first page that we really want to add one to, um, is you don't have to, but it can help just to um, kind of build up your pixel a little bit, is your first page. Now, you don't need to do this, but I'm gonna use this one as an example of how to set it up. So go to edit page, that's the first thing you need to do is edit page. So the reason you don't have to do this is because it's the first page. Um, you know, you, you don't really care too much if people see this page, it's the next page which really counts, but just to show you, you go up to settings, you go down to tracking code, and it's gonna open up a box, right? This is called the header code. Now, you go to your Facebook pixel on your, so under Facebook adverts, you go down to pixels, or it's actually over here uh, under assets, okay? Then, oh, I've been approved cash network, that's good. Um, where are we going? So we're gonna to go to setup just on the right hand corner, click set up, and then we have three options. So if you had a website like Wix, you can use this, but actually we're gonna manually in, uh, install the code ourselves. We're gonna scroll down until you get to this bit here. Just click and that will add that to your clipboard. Go over to here, paste it, and you're done, right? Now, I say you're done, we're not quite done yet. We wanna tell Facebook what this page is. So if we go to the continue on the right hand side and scroll down again, this is a view content page. So you literally people are just viewing the content. You can see here there's other options, so like add to basket, which we're going to get to in, in a minute. You then copy that and go to your landing page, and just at the end, paste that at the end, close this page, press save, and you're done. So that's nice and easy. Now, oh, my awesome landing page, yeah, that's fine. Again, this is just a template for now. So the next thing you're going to do is go through all of your pages. So we're going to go back. We're going to go through all the pages and add in different ones. So the, the really important ones that you want to get to are the actual, once someone's entered their email address, so this one here, uh, once someone goes on the sales page, adds the basket, and then the confirmation. So what we want to do is go to the countdown and do exactly the same thing. So this means that someone's entered their email address. We then can go back to here. We're going to grab that uh, pixel one more time go up to settings into tracking code add that in sorry this is quite quick you can re-watch this if you need to and then this is actually going to be a uh, lead so a generated lead this is really important that you get this stuff right so Facebook knows um, what is what now the better the more Facebook knows about what page is what the better it's going to actually convert in the future again we're going to keep going through this Let's uh, put do not disturb on. So we're gonna keep going through this. The one that we really wanna add on is confirmation and basket. So let's go to confirmation. So when someone has purchased your upsell, you know the thing that you're looking to sell, that's what we really wanna know because we want to tell Facebook exactly 
the demographic of people that purchase. So with the pixel, they'll then be able to go to retarget similar people that would be likely to purchase. So in exactly the same way, we go through to that, we take the pixel code, again, you should have uh, got this by now, down to tracking code, add that in, and then we can go to purchase. Now there's a few other things you can do in here. You can put the actual conversion value. You don't have to do this now, um, but you could put in here the actual amount that purchase is worth. I tend to do that in when you, when you create a custom conversion, um, just because the price can change sometimes. Again, post that in, hit save, our little thing's gonna pop up. That's not to worry. Okay, so how do we check that these are working? Easy. So, I actually use uh, Chrome for this. So here is the page. So we've got the webinar opt-in, we've got the countdown page, the broadcast room, sales page for the actual upsell. Again, so when people click this here, and then we've got the basket and the confirmation, okay? So we want to have the pixel definitely installed here on the basket. So if someone abandons their basket and they don't buy, you can set up a conversion that retargets these people. You can set up a custom audience that retargets these people as well. And um, again, gets them back onto this page as quickly as possible through advertising. So that's all, that's all what um, this is about. That's all, you know, that's why you use pixels. So I have a Chrome extension. If you look in the top right hand corner next to a few of the ones that I have, there's this one here, which is called Facebook Pixel Helper. It's completely free. You can download it from the Chrome store. And let me just reload this page as um, we've added the Facebook Pixel now. And you can see here, there we go. You can see here there's a little three. So if I click on that, you can see we've got a page view, which is uh, just generally what the pixel uh, will add, and then the view content data. So you can see there. Now, if we go to the confirmation, and we just reload that, then you will be able to see, yeah, page view, which it comes on all the pixels, and then the purchase pixel there, which is nice and easy. So this is fantastic if you want to set up advertising. When we go back to Facebook, we can click off of that. We can create a custom audience, and in here we can have all people that have, for example, purchased or they've added to cart. So this is a custom audience where everyone that's added to cart, it will add into a custom audience. So added to cart. Um, and if you do the same thing for uh, purchase, what you can actually do in the, when you're creating an advert is you can target everyone that's added to cart but not purchased. So you can exclude anyone that has purchased, which is why you need to have pixels embedded on all of these pages. So you can exclude some people from the advertising, which is very important. You don't want to show your advert to people that have already bought your product. Um, so you can do that, create audience. Same thing with custom conversions. This is going to be another video, which is a little bit more in depth. But as you can see, it's super easy to set up. Um, just down to the tracking code. You can do it in one other way, but I don't advise doing this. So when you're on ClickFunnels, then you go to settings, just on the right hand corner, then you have the option to put in a head tracking code here, which will embed your pixel onto every single page. Um, now I don't tend to do that, you see it's blank, and all of mine are blank, is because I want to add the pixel into the individual pages that I'm trying to target. So guys, that's it. If you've got any questions about this, feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment below. Um, and just hopefully it'll, it'll be nice and useful for you. If you do want any help on ClickFunnels, of course you can book consultations. Uh, if you need any help with affiliate marketing, then I've got a link to my ebook down below. You can use discount code uh, JB25 if you're looking to get that. If you're looking to see any of my funnels that I actually have myself, then uh, again, send me a message and I can send you the funnels that I actually use um, for my own campaigns. That's it guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Bye-bye.